For years, the Preferred Fuel Oil Sizing Program has been one of our most popular tools. Engineers all over the world have used this program to easily design, size, and pipe their fuel handling systems. This program, which was once available only for PC, we've now made available to you on our website. To access the fuel sizing program, go to preferred-mfg.com. In the bottom right-hand corner of the home page, click the button called Pipe Sizing. The first thing you want to do in the About This Project section is to fill in the name of your project, your name, your company's name, and your email address. Then click the Save Your Work button. You should do this frequently while using the program. In the top left of the screen, you'll notice there's a box with two green numbers. This is where you'll be able to view the pump suction and pump discharge calculations. As you work your way through the program, these numbers will update in real time. Green numbers are good, yellow numbers mean to proceed with caution, and red numbers should be avoided. There are five sections to navigating the pipe sizing calculator. Section 1 is the piping layout. Section 2 is parameters. Section 3 is suction piping. Section 4 is discharge piping. And Section 5 is your summary. These sections can be accessed by clicking any of the section headings. It's best to work through these in order. Afterwards, you can click each section to make changes as needed. The piping layout section gives you four options to choose from. Tank fully above the pump, tank below the pump, tank below the pump with overhead piping, or tank partially above the pump. Select the piping layout that best matches your project. Details about each layout are available in the text below the pictures when you select them. Once your piping layout has been selected, click Next to go to the Parameters section. The first thing you should do in the Parameters section is enter the required values to the right of the piping diagram in boxes A through E. Next, select the type of fuel to be used, pump set model, and site altitude in feet. Zero feet will equal sea level. If the elevation is not known, enter zero. Preferred utility standard pump and motors are already in the drop-down list. If your flow rate does not match any one of these, select custom application, and a box will appear for you to manually enter your flow rate. Once you've completely filled out the parameter section, click the next button to go to the suction piping section. Because positive displacement pumps are limited to 18 to 20 inches of suction lift, we use this program to scrutinize the suction line conditions to make sure we don't exceed the suction limitation of the pump and cause cavitation. In the suction piping section, please enter your primary suction information. Select the pipe size, the length of the run, and all the fittings in the suction line. If the suction pipe reduces, change the secondary piping in the drop-down menu from no to yes. Now you can update your secondary values. For the strainer, select either a simplex or duplex strainer. The strainer size is pre-selected if used in a standard preferred pump set. For custom pump sets, a strainer size will need to be selected. Select the mesh basket. Typically 40 mesh is used for number 2 oil. In scenarios when the pumps are at a lower elevation than the top of the tank, an anti-siphon valve is needed to prevent the tank from emptying in the event of a break in the suction pipe. When you're selecting a piping layout that requires an anti-siphon valve, you'll be able to select the anti-siphon valve details at the end of the suction piping section. Due to restrictions through the valve, the anti-siphon valve body size must be selected based on the flow rate of your system, not just the pipe diameter. If the flow rate of your system exceeds the flow rate of the body, you can manifold multiple anti-siphon valves together to increase your flow capacity. To accomplish this, simply change the quantity of anti-siphon valves in the drop-down menu. When that's done, click Next and go to the Discharge Piping section. In the Discharge Piping section, please fill in the primary discharge info and valves. Just as in the Suction Piping section, fill out all the info as it pertains to the discharge piping. If you're using secondary discharge piping, then change the secondary piping from No to Yes and fill in the secondary section piping info. When finished, click Next and go to the Summary section. The summary section allows you to see a completed overview of the suction and discharge piping results. Determining the pressure and flow requirement for a boiler loop application can be tricky. It's important to determine if the burners have onboard pumps. If they do, you have to find the pump flow and suction limitations in the burner instruction manual. If they are not sure, Preferred Utilities has contacts at all the major burner manufacturers and we can reach out for help with pressure and flow requirements. If you're unsure about any of the assumptions or the results of the calculation, I encourage you to call our factory and talk to an experienced fuel system design engineer. 
The pipe sizing program allows you to recall previously saved projects. You are the only person that can recall your saved projects. To keep your data secure, you'll need to verify your email address when accessing previous jobs. If you recall the program on a different device from the one originally used to create the project, such as a laptop or a phone, we'll send you a verification email to make sure that you're the only one viewing this project. Remember to save your work often. If you need any help, feel free to call us at 203-743-6741 or email us info at preferred-mfg.com.